I found these weather strips yesterday. I just look at the price tag on here, twelve forty nine for one package. Is that ridiculous? I got two two packages that are full. Twelve forty nine. That's twenty five dollars plus. Very good. We're gonna use it for something around the house here or the motor home. So I've been working on cleaning the yard a little bit. Uh, cut this here. We're gonna cut along here. Uh, we're cleaning that side. They're not haven't cut the grass for probably six months. So we're gonna cut that. My brother working Joe. So we got some progress here. Making a pile of garbage. Here's a load of garbage. Be a little garbage here. Got a spring actually here. Scrap millet. Okay, so I'm just gonna slowly clear this area over here. This one I think is good. I have to try the electric one. Alright, it's battery powered actually. So, starting to move shuffle it around clean up a little bit there's just stuff here I've been sitting too long and the things that you know it's not really doing nothing it's taking up space so I'm gonna put my I'm not sure where I'm gonna put my bins I'm gonna move my computers in the garage and I'll strip them you know, a little bit later I already got a pile of computers here I should have at least 40 or 50 piled over there but uh, as you can see I'm starting to pile them here I'm just gonna put them here for temporary and I'm just gonna strip them, take it out, strip them, take it out so then this when it rains, like a heavy rain, I can work in here. I'm just gonna clean it up a bit here. And then when that's stripped, it gives me a big volume of area. But uh, there'll be hard drives in those and there's no cards in there, but there's just the motherboard and power supply. All the cards are gone. And then I'm gonna get rid of these water dispensers. The AC units I'm going to sell them the way they are. I just don't want to deal with the Freon. It's just too much, too many, too many headaches to be honest. I don't want to deal with it. Same with these water dispensers. So I'll get rid of this. I'll go, I'm going to go see who pays better for the AC units. If, if my main yard pays better or I go to the Asian yard, either one. Um, I'm not sure how much it'll pay, but it's all metal. There's no real plastic on there. Just a little bit on the front. So should be okay I guess I got three I got four and another one over there they only want to pay 10 cents for my stainless steel dishwashers I think that's kind of low you know I got dishwasher well, like that's probably a, some sort of bar fridge maybe and then I have uh, four dishwashers sitting and then I got I'm thinking maybe getting rid of this this big thing here I don't know yet uh, I got no rush on that one yet but I just like it how it divides my yard a little bit, gives me a little, gives me a little privacy. So, I'm just gonna level it up, bring it up a bit, so it's a little level. I move my TV sets down there because I can't strip them right now; they're just too time-consuming. But I still need the board out of there, right? So, main thing is getting the, the main board, and then there's you know fins in there and different things that are aluminum and so on. And I'm going to set my jig up for my these little tanks because I got a lot of these tanks I want to get rid of. You know, it takes a big volume. You have 20, 30, it takes a big volume of area. So uh, I have that metal thing. I'm going to set up a little jig where I'm going to have that, that caging. And I put wood on each side and, and pound some wedges in there. And I, and I will be able to uh, hold it in place and then take the top off, most likely. That's what I'm figuring. So we'll see. 
And I think I'm gonna take that bench here, that workbench there, I'm gonna stick it over here. Right here, I think. That's what I'm planning to do. Yeah, I my other brother's here. Can you give me a hand here? Okay. Yeah, I'm sorting my yard out. I got the world's smallest PC. I thought e Waste Ben had a small one. Look at this one. It's smaller than a lunch kit. It's a uh, HP. Oh, look at that. That's that's a collector's item for sure for someone. <sighs> hmm. So we've been cleaning quite a bit here. It's getting getting pretty organized. It's more more scrap metal here. That's junk than anything. Some of my computers are piled here already. I'm gonna put this up here because something like this. That's a cool item. Didn't realize it was a PC. I thought it was a modem when I found it. It's been sitting in the rain. It's too bad. Oh well, that's the way things go. Okay. So just moving stuff around this way. I'm gonna extend my shelf here. Take my shelf here and then extend it. This takes time to organize. There's so much crap, crap here. Caster. Well, wow, look at your, you're rich. You sold, you sold, they sold the James Bond one for five million. You're rich, man. It was on the internet. The real James Bond one that shoots bullets and everything. Yeah. From the movie. Well, it's a movie prop. Well, yeah, but it was in Frank Baker's in North Vancouver for the longest years and disappeared. The car disappeared. The guy passed away. Both cars disappeared. Really? Huh? Turned up twenty years later. Some, some family stole probably. Family stole it, obviously, and fixed it in storage, right? Hmm. So I got under the stairs now. Okay, so look, is it all raked real good? I'm gonna start raking. A Rake bit. it, and then I need you to clean this area here so I can put yeah, my stuff. Because I need, I need this weed eater quickly, and scrape back, and then I can put all my dispensers, my AC units, so I can load them up tomorrow, right there. Okay. Progress slowly but surely. Okay, we got teamwork here going. So basically, these are the AC units I'm gonna sell. I just, I have no time to clean them and I don't want to deal with the Freon, so that's the way they're gonna go. But um, anyways, this way it goes. Just too busy right now, I need to organize a few things, get it clean. So, um, what I'm gonna do is, oh, like more water dispensers. That's a load of tin over here. So we're just gonna start putting stuff there. I'm gonna move some of this stuff here. I'm gonna put this this um, workbench, possibly, right there. So I can extend that, extend that a little bit, and put a nice top on it after. And I'll have drawers to put just. I, I think I could put like you know like little transformers and odds and ends in the drawers, and then then put into something else after. You know, just like a little dispenser bin for now. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this big thing, but uh, we'll see. They only want to pay 10 cents a pound, so it's not going to add to too much anyways. It might only be 300 pounds. Uh, That'd be like 30 bucks only. <laughs> but I might be able to, if I would scrap it, I might be able to separate some of the stainless steel. The top half may come off there. But anyways, it's not really worth it, but we'll see. Okay, continue. Okay, the yard's kind of shaping up. I think I'm going to extend my workbench with this thing here. Thank you. Just because I like it where it's got drawers, instead of me scrapping it, I can just put a nice heavy plywood on top, get rid of this, and then maybe take this off too. It was for uh, uh, one of the saws here. Figure how that comes off. Caught a pin here, I th uh, not caught a pin, but like a little pin here and pop that off and then use this for a flat top. And then I got a processing area. Should be pretty good. Progress. Got quite a bit done today. Do my TV sets here. TV sets, uh, I'll do them a little later. Right now I'm a little bit busy, but down the road I'll have time. 
So we're just kind of working here. And then we're over here. We'll clean this area here. So we're just kind of working around here. And then we're gonna go that way a little bit. Scrap whatever I can. I'm gonna scrap all this stuff here. Is it metal? Here's an old time machine. My brother's got a guy who wants it, so it's a bit too beat up. If you guys want it, we're just gonna scrap it. Um, so all this is gonna be scrapped. I'm gonna take, take maybe the transformer out, or maybe I'll take some copper off these four, but all the dispensers are gonna be dumped the way they are. And then I think I'm gonna take dishwashers too, but 10 cents is kind of cheap, but, but I'll keep this commercial and these are easier to strip because they're panels. This, this I'm not sure how it's gonna strip. They're kind of welded seams. And there's a lot of plastic on in there and different things, so. But these commercial ones I'm gonna strip myself. There's two, these two I'll strip. And then this will go tomorrow. I got aluminum box for AC units, this mortars and different things. These got a pretty good copper mortar in there, but it's, it's oil filled, so they're pretty messy. Um, it's, it might come apart, this big one might come apart, possibly, but I don't pay very much, but anyways, what are you gonna do? Yeah, this one I could probably strip. I might strip that one actually, maybe I'll strip it. I'll strip it and I'll show you what it looks like inside. Because it's basically, if they give me 10 cents, I might as well pull the mortar out and get the 10 cents after still. That's a cast, right? But there's some other ones here. This one looks like it's easy. Two, and it's just pop right out. The other ones are uh, a little more cheaper and they're more rusty looking, but anyways. Um, I got these things here. These are uh, cast aluminum or zinc. They just have to go like that. And they're pretty well clean. I mean, some guys will say they're dirty, but at least my guy will he'll accept it as clean. But. You have to use a magnet because a lot of times they're steel. I found so many and I thought they were aluminum, but they end up being steel. You know, nobody seems to want to buy golf golf clubs. I don't know why. I mean, this looks like a nice set, but you know, every corner, every all the time, they're throwing these things out just because I think. People want their own set. They don't want some used set, right? Plus, the golfer is a picky, right? Look, this, this is a no name. See, well, this is post select. It's okay. The names here. Some of the better ones have the names on the bottom here. But anyways, my buddy's got a second-hand store. Can't sell golf clubs. He said, "All oh, no buyers." So he gives me whatever he gets. He buys an auction. A bunch of stuff at auction. He'll give it to me. So that my van. So I'm gonna take my van tomorrow and make a load. This is cast too, right? This is a nice cast. It's easy to clean basically. It's find my tools and let me pull the mortar apart give me a few minutes and I'll show you what it looks like okay I ended up taking off uh, that piece and it was basically bell housing this is where they I guess it creates the uh, you know the motions for the uh, like the jets of water just to, to suck the water so so I thought it was there I guess I'm not there yet so I devalued my my thing Oh, it came off easy. 
So every time we take metal off this, they pay less, right? I'm not sure what that comes apart that way or something. I don't think I smack it off, I guess. But, you know, we'll see. It's very heavy. more to it looks like it's one piece here I'm not sure what oil is coming out okay. get a hammer see it's oil all cooled Wow, see how much oil's in there? Whole container of oil. It's copper. Now I get to deal with this oil now. Anyways, get a copper mortar. So it's not really that hard. You have the bell housing, take that off. Three screws, and then three screws again. You got a sealed unit here. Okay. Looks like a pretty good sized copper mortar. Not too bad. It's just the casing is super heavy for some reason. Like it looks like it's a lot of copper, but it's not really compared to the heavy casing. Okay. Leave it at that one. So uh, early fax machines are really, really good. I'll show you. Look at that. How nice IC chips they got in there. A removable chip really really nice board so I'm gonna take out these couple boards and I'll take the power board out also but if you get them they're really nice and heavy too they got a lot of weight to them so not too bad I like taking them out you don't get that many all the time but you do get them sometimes a little power board not that great but IC chips, very nice. Removable chip. But anyways, even this power board, like I say, is so so. But like I say, if you get them, they're pretty good. You know, for the gold bonding wires. Okay, uh, I'll show you before I leave what we did. But a lot of progress today. Really happy. Okay.